everybody. Howard here. I've been uh, messing about with a lot of acoustic stuff lately, so uh, I thought I would do Norwegian Wood. So a little shout out to one of my students who's working on this right now. So uh, it's a pretty easy song to play. Uh, that signature riff at the beginning, what I just played, is really the toughest part in the song, uh, but uh, I think we can get it together, okay? So uh, first and foremost, I'm capoed at the second fret, okay? Standard tuning, but capoed at the second fret. So we have a D major chord, uh, but we're not swinging all the way to the bottom string, not out the chute anyway. It's more or less just kind of include the A string in that if you want to, and uh, just down to the second string from the bottom, the B string. So we're in a waltz time. One, two, three, 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 and so on and so forth. So the very first thing, I mean, Lennon plays this pretty loose, okay? But the very first thing that you want to do is you want to just get this strumming pattern going in the right hand. Down, down, up, down. And like I say, including that A string in there is, is kind of a nice thing. Okay? And then we're actually going to do a hammer-on on the G string, the third from the bottom string, with your pinky, okay? And you're just kind of hitting two or three strings at the same time, but leading from that string. So maybe from the G string down toward your feet. So we're hammering on to four and letting back off, all right? Now, if the hammer on is too difficult for you to do, you can just, just go straight to four, let the pinky off, and then finally the open string. Uh, the difference with the hammer on, it sounds like this, which is kind of nice, but either way is, is totally cool to, to play it. So what I did there is I brought my pinky to the third from the top string, the D string, on the fourth fret. And this can be the toughest chord to play because you want to try to get all those open strings in there. It's really cool and sounds kind of exotic. sounds really nice. So um, the repetitive rhythmic pattern is down, down, up, down, one, two, three, down, down, up, down, one, two, three. So when you land the pinky, it's the strumming pattern again, down, down, up, down. And then you'll have three notes again. So that's the second fret on the D string, the third string from the top, swing below it to hit the G string open, and then fourth fret on the D string again. And again, while you're doing this, you can just kind of keep it loose. You hear I'm kind of letting some other strings come in below it, whatever you happen to be strumming is very nice. So now we have... back to a regular D chord for the down, down, up, down strumming. So we've got down, down, up, down, one, two, three, down, down, up, down, one, two, three, down, down, up, down. Okay? And then we've got that one, two, three melody thing happening again. Uh, a bit about that as well, but we'll get to that in a second. So uh, I'm on the third fret on the A string. String below it, D string open, back to the A string at the second fret. Back to a D chord, okay? On the actual recording, um, you'll hear Lennon play a pickup note into that. Which sounds kind of cool. the main bit of the song of course and uh, we'll talk about how you can kind of play those octaves that the um, sitar covers which is really cool but before we get there 
uh, let's get to the other chords in the song. There's just uh, a few left, okay? So, uh, we land a D minor chord. So on. So that's a D minor to a G, which you can play standard uh, country style, or if you want to add the two, both the E and the B string on the bottom, that sounds good as well. And then the other two chords I played were an E minor, which you can play either way you like, to an A7. So the sequence is D minor to G, back to D minor, and then E minor to A7. And the strumming pattern I'm doing on that is the down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, one, two, three, one, two, three. And so I mentioned that uh, I talk about uh, kind of sort of cheaply imitating the uh, the sitar part, you know, George Harrison's sitar part, where he actually plays uh, the melody that we just did with the guitar uh, an octave higher. Uh, and there's a neat little way that you can do that on guitar if you're playing with another guitar player or you're just playing by yourself and you want the uh, variety in there, okay? <laughs> kind of nice, you know, especially, like I said, if you're playing with another guitar player, it's cool to throw that in there. Uh, they, the two parts will sound really nice together um, on two guitars. Uh, so this is how I'm doing this. I'm on the fifth fret, on the bottom string, fifth fret from the capo, that is. On the bottom string, the first E string, and then seven on the B string, and seven on the G string, and the D string is open. And it's that same strumming, down, down, up, down, and just kind of letting as many strings ring as you can, to be honest. So I'm doing a hammer-on on the bottom string from five to seven to imitate this part, right? Down to the third fret, and then we form that chord, which we normally play like this, but this is just an easier way to do it. Fourth fret on the D string, third from the top. The next string is open, the G string is open. Third fret on the B string, and second fret on the E string. And with the strumming, of course, down, down, up, down. So I'm on the second fret on the D string for this one. The G string is once again open. And my third finger, my ring finger, is on the third fret on the B string. Be sure you connect all the way down with the first E string because that's where the melody is hiding up. So it's open at first, third fret on the bottom string, and then second fret. So you kind of got to finagle your fingers in there a little bit to make that work. That's back to a regular D chord, but once again, don't include the first E string in this because that's where the melody is. So we want to go like that with the down, down, up, down strumming.
Now this part right here is sort of a mock C chord, if you will, but what I'm doing is I've got the ring finger on the third fret on the A string. My first finger is on the first fret on the B string. And the D string is uh, muted out by just sort of laying your ring finger kind of sloppily <laughs> across the A string. So you just get that. And then you grab a melody note on the first string on the bottom. So you're only swinging down to the B string for that, once again, to capture the melody. And then see where my second finger is. I just take it and from the uh, G string, I slide from the second to the fourth fret. Right back to D. So let's put that together. A little Norwegian wood. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you soon probably back on the electric. <laughs> okay. <laughs>